The German finance minister, Christian Linder, has sparked an EU civil war by inviting the UK to take new steps on a new and improved trade deal with the bloc. He even goes as far as to say, call us. However, this offer has sparked outrage from some of his EU counterparts who say Germany cannot make this offer without member agreement. So are the EU missing us? And is post-Brexit Britain having the last laugh? Let's ask the former government minister, best-selling author and television personality, Anne Widdicombe. And how much is the EU missing Britain, do you think? Oh, I think it's missing us quite considerably. I think it's missing our contribution. Uh, I think it's just missing our general uh, participation. Uh, but tough luck. Uh, and what strikes me about this is Germany wouldn't, out of the goodness of its heart, uh, make offers to Britain for Britain's sake. This is Germany saying, oh, dear. You know, we're not doing so well out of this Brexit business. Perhaps mm -hmm. we should try uh, to swing it a little more our way. I mean, that is effectively what's going on. And yes, we should all be laughing at that. Well, yes, the Germans would like to sell us more of their Mercedes Benz and BMWs and their, uh, their low and brow lager, wouldn't they? Well, of course they would. There is no country in the world that doesn't want to sell more of its own products. You know, Germany is not an exception to that, but it's feeling the draft since we've left. And could I indulge in a conspiracy theory with you? I just wonder whether in five to ten years' time, the EU will be so desperate to have us back, they'll say, you know what, you can have the old deal and we'll get you back in. No Schengen, no Euro, maybe even a cap on free movement. Is that possible? No, that's not possible, and I think we all know that. Um, and indeed, I think we would need to be very, very wary because we saw where it led last time. So I think the only sensible answer to that would be no. I mean, my actual fear in all of this is not Germany, it's not the EU. It's Keir Starmer, who has said in terms, and this is probably what has encouraged Germany, he said in terms that he wants to negotiate a better deal. Now, a better deal actually means, of course, uh, you know, the single market or the customs union or mm. further uh, regulation or whatever it might be. Uh, you know, the deal is not going to work solely in our favour. You know, we haven't got a particularly good deal at the moment. Let's not make it any worse. However, Anne, uh, Keir Starmer is very clear he does not want Britain to go back into the single market or join a customs union. Uh, he wants British retailers to be able to sell more of our goods to the EU. I mean, surely he's right to push for that uh, improved deal, don't you think? I think he should leave it to businesses to export their, uh, their goods to the EU and to sell their goods into the EU uh, because they happen to know what they're doing. Don't be fooled by this business of, you know, Keir Starmer doesn't want to rejoin, Keir Starmer doesn't want the formal single market, he doesn't want the formal customs union. There are two ways of doing it, as I've said before. One is to actually re-enter, which we'll never do. But the other is simply to align ourselves so much with the EU that we are still under their dictation. And that is what is going on. We should be completely free to do what we want to do. And above all, we should be doing it uh, which Hunt and Shunak are not. I tend to agree with you. I think if Labour gets in, it will be death by a thousand cuts to Brexit. Um, and what about the UK and the EU, though? Perhaps many would argue that we're missing them, are we? No, I don't think we're missing them at all. Uh, it doesn't appear to have impacted on our growth rates. It hasn't impacted on our inflation rates. So, of course, other things have. Mm. Uh, it, it hasn't made any difference to us. Uh, and we could be so much stronger if we did what they were dreading. And they must be laughing up their sleeves at us. They were dreading us becoming some sort of Singapore on Thames. That is to say, mm. really competitive with them. Uh, and Hunt made it very clear in his very first budget. He wasn't going to do that at all. We were just going to align ourselves with their rates of corporation tax. They're this, they're the other thing. We haven't torn up all the regulations that we were promised were going to be torn up. Uh, it is a complete shambles. And I don't mind a shambles. I've come to expect that from a Conservative government. What I mind is a shambles that is against British interests. Well, I agree with you, Anne. Last night on the show, I was saying that we've got to love bomb the rich because we need their money. We need their investment. <laughs> Singapore on Thames, bring it on, Anne. Um, Anne, can I take you now to your home office brief? 
where you served with such distinction as prisons minister. The Justice Secretary, Alex Chalk, has announced less prison time for minor offenders in order to tackle overcrowding and to help low-level criminals rehabilitate rather than learn the tricks of the trade inside. Now, you are a great champion of rehabilitation. Is this a good move? No. Because prisons are meant to rehabilitate, prisons have two aims. One is to keep people safe in custody so that the public are protected. The other is, and I quote, prepare them to lead law-abiding lives both in prison and afterwards. Now, that mission statement is displayed in our prisons, and uh, I therefore draw your attention to help them to lead law-abiding lives. There is no conflict between prison and rehabilitation. Prison should, should automatically be focused on rehabilitation. One of our big problems is that it isn't. All this is is the government saying, oh dear, we've got a mess. Uh, we haven't got enough prison places. We haven't mm -hmm. provided for them. We don't want to provide them. We'd rather people didn't go to prison. It's the road that Labour went down before them. And it is an irresponsible road from the point of view of the public. Do you think our prisons will be overflowing for the foreseeable future, Anne? Unless the government takes some emergency action, which can be done. Mm. Um, and if they put, you know, they can bring in, <coughs> sorry, they can bring in Bless temporary you. accommodation. They can put it down in uh, Category C prisons, which is what I did when I had to find extra prison places. I even brought in a ship. All sorts of things that wow. they can do. Let them get on and do it. I did it. They can do it. And it's always the highlight of the weekend to have you on. We'll see you next Sunday. And I know you've got a little bit of a cold there. So thank you so much for joining us. And